That's what you want. Juddery bite like that. That feels like bream. When bream fishing as well, you don't really want to strike hard. You sort of lift into them. That's a better size one. I like it. That's what we're looking for. Well, bigger again. You always want bigger than you, but that is not a bad size at all. That's a nice eating size there, to be honest. Yeah, look at that there. These are sharp and spiky, <laughs> just like bass are, most sea fish are. You can see them up there. That fin does lie down and goes back inside its body. It's quite clever. It's not doing it now, it's trying to lift it. There's a groove in there and the fin goes flat and disappears inside. But we are going to be keeping a few of these for food. Probably going to keep this one. Mark's just pulled up one now, a little bit smaller. But yeah, this is the plan for this trip. Well, this is going to be a catch and cook uh, for a black bream. What I've done, taken the tail off, I've cut the head off at an angle down, cleaned the guts out at the same time, and it's also been descaled. Both sides, I've chopped the fins off with scissors, and the fins on the bottom there, you get spikes and stuff there. In a little dish here, it's a simple mix, nothing special. We've got sea salt, black pepper, parsley, marjoram, and smoked paprika. You might be able to see all just slightly out of shot there. Also, half a lemon squeezed in there, and some Welsh salted butter. What I'll do with this is sort of just put it over the bream, underneath it, on top of it. N nothing special, just whack it on there, bit of flavour. There's um, also fresh garlic in this. So you put it all over. It's basically going to be a lemon butter sea bream, or black bream. Just give it a good covering with all the garlic and stuff. And what you want to do is sort of cover it over and the fish sort of gets steamed. Make sure it's covered well. You can just pour it all on. Get some of it inside it as well. And that's literally it. There's nothing complicated about this. The fish is easy to prepare. And what you basically do now is just eat it off the bone. If you don't mind doing that, some people don't like doing that. What we'll do now, add a few more knobs of salted butter. Makes no difference where you put them. I'd say put them on the fish just to let them melt and spread over the fish. And that is literally it. You cannot get any more simple. So what we do is cover this with tin foil now and we'll get it in the oven. What I'm going to do is whack this in the oven. I'll probably be for around 15 to 20 minutes. We'll see how it cooks. It depends on the size of the bream you've got. Um, we'll be putting it on 180 and just leaving it in there on 180. You could go with 150, let it cook a little bit slower. You don't want to overcook it, because you'll dry the fish out. What you want to do is cook it spot on so it's flaking apart and still has a bit of moisture in it. So what we'll do, whack this in the preheated oven now. Roughly, I'd say 15 minutes. We'll start checking it from around 15 minutes and then get it out when it's cooked. What I'm having with the bream is some new potatoes out the garden. They're actually cooking as we speak, right there. So, just some garlic butter, new potatoes with the bream, which will be lemon, butter, and a bit of garlic on it, and obviously some herbs. Let's get it in the oven. I'm dying to eat it. <laughs> And while that's in the oven, I'll tidy up the mess before the wife gets home and she'll kill me. She's also going to kill me for eating the bream without her. She's out with her friends tonight and I thought, right, my chance to eat the bream. I have to share it with her otherwise. <laughs> so, get it down me quick while she's not here. I'll bring you back once it's done. This is pretty much it. It's pretty much cooked. It's, it's that simple. But yeah, I will show you the bream, show you it plated up. Yeah, it's a real simple dish and it tastes amazing. Well, the bream has just come out of the oven now. It's been in there for around 15 to 17 minutes. What I'm gonna do is put it back in like this just to crisp up the skin a bit. But as you can see, look, that is absolutely spot on. Nice flaky meat, it's still moist, which is what you want. So what I'm gonna do is chuck this back in the oven now for around three minutes at 220, just to crisp up the skin a little bit, and then it'll be ready. And there we go, it's done. We've got a nice crispy skin on that bream. <clears throat> Obviously, we've got the garlic butter potatoes, new potatoes from the garden. A bit of lemon, which I'm gonna squeeze over this bream. Don't need too much, just a little bit. A few drips all over it. 
and that's it it's ready to tuck in very very tasty dish and obviously that's homegrown new potatoes and I caught that fish myself it's a good feeling the fish itself if you look nice and moist you can see it there look perfect absolutely spot on to cook through smells absolutely amazing yeah this is what you want you can see it right there flakes apart perfectly it's not dry at all it's a very easy dish to do very quick it's probably taken around 25 to 30 minutes something like that because of the potatoes and that's it ready to enjoy fairly healthy seriously tasty and now i'm going to go and tuck in i hope the video helps have a simple way to cook bream get out there catch yourself one and try this you'll love it